All right, so we're back at it with another video. Um, got some some good news for those of you with the uh, with extra arcade sticks um, and a Mayflash adapter. So uh, I I done a video a while back asking everybody to send Mayflash a an email requesting that they uh, release a an update for their for their adapters that uh, recognize arcade sticks that are hooked up to the arcade stick pro as arcade stick pro devices because uh this particular device has eight buttons but when you hook up a neo geo mini controller those are all just four buttons so the previous update that they had and i'll just say previous update because they have updated it now so that's what this video is all about to show you that now you can actually use a a regular arcade stick hook it up to one of these and play a Capcom fighting game with all six buttons and map them and everything. But uh, if you look, this does support the Neo Geo Mini. It shows right there in yellow. So you gotta, you know, after you do your update and set up your adapter, just make sure that it's in, in yellow. And then it'll recognize your arcade stick. Um, but the previous update that had it I, I was only able to uh, to um, map four buttons, and it was just four specific buttons. So like it was only like these two and these two, or because of the way this is set up, maybe it was like this one and, and these three or something. I don't know what it was, but anyway, um, the point is is that you weren't able to map it the way you wanted to, and you definitely couldn't get six buttons out of the controller. You were only gonna get four. Uh, so that sucked, and we wanted them to do it. Um, obviously, we didn't, talk about the fact that we needed it for six buttons for the arcade stick pro so the way um i mean for the well yeah the way the arcade stick pro is laid out because obviously this is just neo geo games and it's only four buttons but the way i sent them i did send them a video and i just demonstrated the fact that you can map your buttons any way you want when you have eight buttons you can do them you know two here two here you can do all four on top all four on the bottom one here three on top you know it's just it was the the point was to be able to configure it freely right uh, so, so the good news is that they have updated uh, the the Magic NS um, and the Magic S, and uh, about almost two weeks ago they they uh, released um, an update for the Magic S Pro. So Magic S Pro, Magic NS, and Magic S all have support for eight button controller configuration on an Arcade Stick Pro. So this is an Xbox 360 controller. It's um, uh, an H wrap. EX, uh, Hori Arcade, or Real Arcade Pro EX for the Xbox 360. So this is an old controller and it and it does recognize it and it works. So we're going to go ahead and get into the settings, um, controller settings. So as you can see right off the bat, I've got two controllers hooked up. Uh, the Arcade Stick Pro, which is this one here on the on the left, and this uh, H-Wrap, which is on the, on the right side, right, or Player 2. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over to player two, push A to, to get it going. Now, the funny thing about this is that I'm going to push the buttons that I definitely want for A. So I know that when you set up a, a game for, um, for a Capcom game, it's going to be A, B, C, uh, D, X, Y, okay? But when I, I'm going to set it up that way, it's going to show it in a different location on the screen. So don't let that freak you out. It did confuse me for a little while and um, it kind of threw me off, but I just realized that it didn't really matter where it shows it on the screen. It's where you're actually mapping it to on the physical uh, stick itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do A and again, I'm pushing, I just push this one and then we're gonna do B. And again, I just push this one here and then C. And then now I'm gonna do uh, D, X, Y, these three right here, okay? So D, X, and Y. All that matters, it looked funky on screen, but again, I did map uh, A, B, C, uh, D, X, Y here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and save the settings here, pushing A, and return, and return. So now we're in, we're in Street Fighter Alpha 3, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some credits here, okay? And then just push start. I'm gonna pick a character and yeah, see if I can get in there. Okay, push A. Whatever, just get in there. 
So I can't really show you the screen and this at the same time. Well, maybe I could do a little bit like this. That sucks, man. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna just show you when I'm in the game. I'm gonna push uh, A, B, C, D, X, Y, which should be low, medium, high, low, medium, high, kick, uh, punches, kicks, right? Uh, you know what, maybe if I could just start here on this side. There you go. New challenger, great, I don't know, opposition. Just make a dummy, big dummy. All right, so here we go, two players ready to go. So the big thing is just whether or not you're going to get six buttons out of an, a regular arcade stick um, hooked up to an arcade stick pro, which is what we what we got here. So I mean, obviously, jumping, squatting, moving, all that good stuff. All right, so it's uh, punches. There you go. There you go. So is that is this one a, a high punch? Oh yeah, okay. So there you go. So anyways, that's a, that's a cool update. Um, go to mayflash.com, look for your adapter. And this is probably the cheapest one that you can get for the Arcade Stick Pro. I think they, they sell on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, the Magic S Pro is like 40 bucks. Um, but I mean, if you plan on using this on the PS3, PS4, uh, Xbox 360, yeah, hell, I don't remember, but uh, I think you need the Pro. Um, but if you want to use it on the Switch, um, then you would need this one. And again, this is the cheaper one. But if you just want to be able to use another arcade stick with your uh, arcade stick Pro, then this is the cheapest solution. Um, the update's there, and now you can, as i sh just shown you, that you can actually hook up all your six buttons the way you want on your on your stick um and i mean for whatever reason if you have a different way of doing it all you do is just map you know how you want to set it up just remember that a b and c are your low medium high punches and then d x y are going to be your low medium high kicks um but yeah man Let's see if i can roll with it. oh yeah right-handed one-handed all one hand man check it out Let's see if i can do it Oh, I did that. Damn. Check it out, man. One handed, baby. Keep wanting to run, man. I'm used to playing King of Fighter games. Or Samurai Showdown, too, likes to run a lot. Ah, all right. So, anyway, cool little update, man. Thank you, Mayflash, for finally listening uh, after, you know been about a month month and a half but they finally did it they uh, they lived up to their uh, to their word they did tell me that they were gonna do it and they finally did it so thanks to everybody else that sent out the emails I'm sure that put some influence on them to get it done so good job to you guys but uh, yeah that's the magic NS it's got a new update I think it's 1.30 and now you can hook up any kind of controller you want I could probably hook up a ps4 controller a ps3 uh, controller maybe a uh maybe a wii u a wireless controller i can hook up wireless stuff to this thing too and map the buttons the way i want so that's kind of cool man i might i might look into all that and check it out but i mean i'm really not interested in doing that but um anyway you guys can get it get your adapter if you have a second controller you don't have to buy another arcade stick pro um now you can just hook up anything you got laying around man that'll uh that can hook up you know through usb and again this is an xbox 360 controller and uh works just fine so pretty sweet man all right check it out see you later